Hello, uh, today we'll be doing exercises to help with upper cross syndrome. That means that your uh, front muscles, your pectorals are shortened and really tense and your upper back muscles are elongated and quite weak. So that's the posture you'd have uh, when sitting a lot at the desk. So these exercises are designed to stretch your pectorals and also to activate your upper back muscles to keep your posture where it should be. So the first exercise is shoulder rolls. I have here two plates, but you can do it with two dumbbells. Ideally, they'd be of very sort of fairly heavy weight. So pull your shoulders up all the way down and up. So you're over exaggerating the movement backwards and down and up to your ears. So this is three, let's go for 10. Four, five, belly button in, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Place them down. For the rest of the session, we can go down to the floor and the next exercise is Superman. So lie down on your front, grab dumbbells. Uh, they don't have to be very heavy or you can do this exercise without any weights as well. So you're lying down, feet hip width apart, squeeze your glutes, pick up your belly button on the floor, Lift your legs and arms, push forward and down. We'll do 10. So chest up, legs up, forward and in. Three. Breathe in. Four. Breathe in. Breathe out. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten, down. Now we can move on to pull apart. So it would be useful if you had a resistance band, ideally the thin one, a red one. You grab it sort of slightly outside your shoulders, squeeze your shoulder blades, you can do it also standing and stretch as much as you can. There we go. And we'll do 15. So be mindful that the exercise really starts from your shoulder blades. It's your shoulder blades and your lats working and your arms are just following. I think that's four and five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Just five more. You can adjust the distance if it's too easy, bring your hands closer. If it's too difficult, bring them slightly out. And last five. Five, four, three, two and one another exercise is called t position like the letter t you again uh, we lie down on our front feet stay on the floor for this one arms to the side thumbs up arms on the shoulder level and you lift squeeze your shoulder blades make sure you Thumbs are pointing upwards, squeeze your glutes, press your, press your feet down and breathe. We'll do it for 10 more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. This is, this is an exercise, ideally uh, you'd be building up. 
So start 15-20 seconds and then hopefully you can progress to 30 seconds or up to a minute. It might feel quite unpleasant to start with, but just remember to sort of push your shoulders away from your ears and keep on rotating your thumb upwards. Another good exercise to open our shoulders, therefore elongate uh, the pectoral muscles, is, well, shoulder stretch. You would clasp your hands like this, but behind your back. So push your chest forward, you can look up, so your arms are straight and they pull in behind you and as high as you can go. You can also place your head down. And breathe. Pull your stomach muscles in and see if you can place your head on the floor. Come up and release. I'd recommend doing this exercise several times a day actually. So whenever you get up from your desk, uh, just stretch a little bit, clasp your hands and pull backwards and upwards as much as you can. Last exercise to close down the session will be stretching of your pectorals. You can use a foam roller, maybe some yoga blocks, depending on what you have available at home. You can use small weights for this or no weights. I place it in the middle of my back. If you have no neck pain, you can drop your head down and your arms behind and feel the stretch in your neck and in your chest. Actually, I will adjust it, go slightly lower. There we go. And bring your arms down. You can bring them to the side. Just find a position when you feel most of the stretch. It could be here, it could be here or there. It's very individual, so see where it works for you the most. And come back up. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you're doing it for the first time, just one round is enough. If you feel that's not enough, I would go through the exercises again. And hopefully over time, maybe even within a couple of weeks, you will feel a huge difference in opening your chest and in your upper back feeling stronger. That's it. Thank you. Bye-bye.